Brilliant. Entering killing mode. Me! Entering killing mode. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? <laughs> you want to come with me, pal? <laughs> okay then. Let's stick together. Entering killing mode. Hey there, can you help me? What are you doing out here? I'm looking for help, silly. There's a bunch of ragers around the corner, so I'm staying here. What seems to be the problem? It's my friend Murphy. He went to the film store, but it's been a while, and I'm starting to worry. Can you check on him for me? Does that little scam actually work on anyone? What's a scam? You should look for your parents. Where are they holed up? In Quincy. That's where my mommy died. I don't know about my dad. My mom said I would get to meet him someday. Okay, I'll try to help. Really? Thank you. It's the big yellow building down the street. Can you bring Murphy back safely for me, please? Mission set is active. Mission deactivated.
Entering killing mode.
Everybody, got some news. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. What's going on? Sounds of explosions. Did you hear the news? We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What's happening? We seem to have lost contact with our third stations. Somewhere. Oh, that is bad. We, we do. We do have. We do have coming in. That's um. Oh no. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York. Oh my God! It's happening. Pennsylvania. Oh my God. My God. Oh my God. Our soldiers are right. War. Evacuate immediately. never changes. Evacuate oh, immediately. No one This is just a drill, right? Evacuate immediately. This can't be really happening. Evacuate immediately. Why are you doing this? Evacuate immediately. Get out of here. Evacuate immediately. Oh, they got the threat. Keep it on. Evacuate immediately. No one can. This is it. Evacuate immediately. Get over. No. Let's go. 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 Got this locked. Find the terminal. Broken. Good job, mate. Hey, hey! Credo di aver trovato qualcosa. I'm fucking hungry, and so is everyone else. If this is my life, kill me now. It's your business to know what you're putting in your child's bloated belly. That's why sugar bombs are engineered to please both your child and not damage his or her tender, tender brain. Mmm, they taste so amazing! 
and they'll make you remember everything you read. Quick, sweet. Get up. Of course, mother. Sugar bombs are made with nutrients and stimulants. Breakfast and cocktails provide a day-to-day break in your child's life. I can see the future. Sugar bombs may last up to 12 hours. Lovely. After that, it's anyone's guess. Buy two boxes and get a third half free until supplies last. Cereal has seldom been so crispy, so fresh when it hits your stomach, blasting your brain with 5,000 taste bolts of volcanic delight. Sugar bombs are built from the ground up to prime you for lunch. uno scarafaggio qualcuno là fuori is relative, but relatively what is value? At Fallows, each price represents our pact with the customer to bring things down to a manageable level of value that also takes luxury into account. Mass production techniques may have brought things up to speed, but it's time-honored, well-worn, oak and varnish tradition that really keeps things classic. Ah, that's progress. Ah, oh, damn! Vuoi tentare la fortuna? Ma che cazzo? Via! Dovrei fare meglio di così! E il lascio!
terminal should open this. Well, well. Aren't you the overachiever? I've been admiring your handiwork. We all have. You put on a good show. Maybe you're not useless after all. Our new friend surely has some questions. Perhaps we should introduce ourselves. Name's Murphy. Head upstairs to the top floor. I've got a proposition for you. And don't worry. We'll play nice this time. Hey there. Gotta admit, I'm impressed. Stella here tells me this was all her little ruse. No hard feelings, huh? I will not be recommending this place to my friends. And a sense of humor, too. I like it. Sorry for any 
misunderstanding. We're a shoot first, ask questions later kind of place. Never can be too careful with looters breaking and entering these days. Don't misunderstand. We're not criticizing you. Those were fair kills. You didn't know who we were, and we didn't know you from a random looter. Thankfully, Stella fessed up. Hey, I was just trying to have a little fun. How was I supposed to know they weren't a common criminal? Yeah, we're all friends now. Let's skip to the part where you help me. That's rather presumptuous. After taking out two of our crew, I wasn't under the impression we owed you anything. Well, that all depends. What kind of help are you looking for? Hold on, I have some questions first. All right, humor me. What do you want to know? So what do you do here? After what you've seen, you really need me to spell it out? We're slave traders, not gonna sugarcoat it. We deal in raiders, mostly. Capturing them, and once their spirit is broken, selling them to slave owners up and down the eastern seaboard. A few miscreants we let work for us if they show promise, but the main goal is to ship these degenerates outside the Commonwealth. What's the history of this place? Uh, this place was originally the HQ for a large department store chain called Fallon's. The guy who ran the company was one of those conspiracy nut jobs who thought a big war was coming. Turned out he was right. The company had a large fallout shelter constructed underneath the building. And the rest is history. The survivors of that bunker and their offspring ended up being the ones to repopulate most of the Commonwealth. Eventually, they made Diamond City their primary settlement. And this place kind of fell by the wayside. Which is a polite way of saying it became a prison. Someone needs to deal with the Commonwealth scum after all. I don't understand. Why not just kill them and be done with it? Where's the fun or profit in that? You can only kill somebody once. Slavery, on the other hand... What can you tell me about the child? Uh, Stella hasn't had it easy. Her dad was never in the picture, and her mom raised her at University Point most of her life. Until the Institute torched the place. I met Stella and her mom Judy after they fled to Quincy in 2285. Helped them build a life for themselves there. And then the Quincy Massacre happened. What was the Quincy Massacre? Uh, we can get into that some other time. Let's just say that Life's greatest dangers often come not from external enemies, but from our supposed friends, who pretend to work for the common cause while scheming to sabotage it. When the Minutemen betrayed Quincy, most of the residents ended up slaughtered by the gunners, Judy included. I managed to get Stella out, and we made our way north to Concord. And that traitor Preston followed us here. I'm telling you, he was working with Clint the whole time. And now he's right down the street. And you still won't do anything about it. We've been over this, Stella. Innocent until proven guilty. You want me to focus on keeping this place safe from the gunners? Or waste time dealing with the loudmouth fool in the silly hat? Both. I want justice for what they did to my mom. And like I explained, you'll get it. If you have patience, Garvey will get what's coming to him eventually. But for now, wait, hold up. You hear that? What just happened? Killing mode. Entering killing mode. Entering killing mode. Entering killing mode.
That's why you don't screw with the gunners. Get some! You've got to be Store! Kidding. Store! Or we will fire on you! That's why you don't screw with the gunners. Get some! Store! Store! Or we will fire Last on you! Watch for the gun. Entering killing mode. Entering killing mode. Entering killing mode. Critical damage available. Entering killing mode. Sarge! Entering you reading this? Mode. Good to fight another day. We need some discipline here. Entering killing mode. Win again.
What? Hey there. I was afraid those guys might show up. Thanks for your help. You all right? I have no idea what's going on here. It's complicated. What do you know about the Gunners? Give me the short version. All right, I'll sum it up. No one's really sure where the Gunners started out, but something changed about eight or nine years ago. Out of nowhere, they started sporting plasma weapons, advanced combat gear, and even vertebrates. Doesn't make any sense. Where did they get all that stuff from? That's a good question. I guess I don't know. People bitch about the Institute, but look at what's really been going on. Quincy, GNN, Mass Bay Medical, Mass Fusion, Two Vaults, and all the major freeways. It's the Gunners, not the Institute, who've been gaining the most ground in the Commonwealth. How much of a threat are they? No one invests the resources to capture those strategic locations without a larger agenda. Someone's behind it. We're just not sure who or what. At this point, there's not much to keep the Gunners from taking Good Neighbor, Diamond City, or the towns up north. Is there a reason that you're bringing this up? You mean besides the fact that we just got ambushed here in Concord? There needs to be a group to stand up to these assholes. Someone strong, organized, and local. And I'm not talking about the Minutemen. I mean someone with real stones. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of... details. Ultimately, you gotta ask yourself who you want protecting things. A bunch of Muppets who can't defend what's theirs, or hardened killers who can handle themselves. I hadn't thought of it that way. Uncertainty is sometimes better than an over-threat. If you build a reputation for being a little crazy, your opponents are never sure what messing with you will cost. So, they tend to avoid finding out. Settlers can't instill that kind of fear. Whether it's against raiders, synths, mercs, super mutants, or even mole rats. They've proven time and again that they're incapable of deterring threats to their property over the long term. The Minutemen worked for a while, but they ended up self-destructing. What happened to the Minutemen? Depends who you ask. The challenge with running a militia is that volunteers inevitably have their own agendas. For a coalition to last, there needs to be a chain of command where members don't feel too constrained by your influence but still fear you enough to follow your lead. Maintaining morale requires convincing soldiers to think less about themselves and more about the group. Involve them in a cause, a crusade against a hated enemy, and make them see their survival as tied to the success of the militia as a whole. Of course, it's easier said than done. Somewhere along the way, we lost that sense of common purpose. Infighting took over and the militia gradually splintered into different groups. Some became raiders or joined the gunners. Others just disappeared. Quincy was the final blow. And now we're back at square one. Jesus, what a mouthful. What's the plan again? Whether it's the gunners, the institute, or who knows what other groups are out there, they're too powerful to take on directly. So we've got to use our weaknesses as strengths. If your enemy is big, and you're small, then by extension, you're fast, and they're slow. You're hidden, and they're exposed. So we break our forces into independent cells who can operate elusively and autonomously. Fighting only the battles we know we can win, capturing the enemy's weapons and gear along the way. And using those tools against them in the next encounter. That way, the enemy is supplying us, and we grow stronger as they grow weaker. Makes sense, I suppose. What's our next move? The Gunners are calculated and cautious. It's gonna take them a while to figure out what just happened, which provides us an opening. The critical elements in any campaign are speed and adaptability, making decisions faster than the enemy can. 
Striking first, before the gunners have time to assess and formulate a response, may throw them off balance. Their nearest outpost is up on the freeway, southeast of Walden Pond. That's likely where the attack came from. The freeway wasn't particularly well guarded to begin with. Probably even less so after the raid. I want you to head over there, take out their remaining guards, and steal their weapons, so we can fortify our presence here in Concord. Prove to me you can handle that task, and I'll have a larger project for you when you return. And if you want bonus points, there's rumor of a raider stash over by Corvega. We'll mark the location on your map. Thank <laughs> you. 